in my restaurant with my husband Ben. I take you on a journey of Oriental cookery, Nancy style. Chinese supermarket. You can get it in anywhere in England, but we are in Birmingham. Come on, Ben, let's go. Let's go and do our shopping. What are we going to buy? Oyster sauce. Mushrooms. Ah, don't forget Chinese fungi. What's a chestnut? Noodles. Wow. Ah, difficult to find oriental food. You now can find in any big town or city, so you must try it. Come on, Ben. Look at all this sauce. Soya sauce. Oh, it's wonderful. Ketchup manis. Oyster sauce. Oh, dear. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Ones too. Come on, Ben. Ah. Yes, I say yes. <laughs> Fish sauce, delicious. Chili sauce, hot, 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 hot. Come on, Ben. Yes, Nancy, this is wonderful. Yes, are you enjoying yourself? Yes. Oh, good. <gasps> Look at this. Fresh frozen prawns. Mushroom. what I need. A 10 inches walk. That's the size I like. Come on, Ben. Let's load the thing quickly. Ginger together. Okay. You enjoy your day, Ben. It was very nice, Nancy. Lots of shopping. Lots of shopping and lovely, lovely fresh things, did we? Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. This program called Shark and Ribs. From very basic belly of pork to exotic shark and mushroom. Let's go, Ben. Let's go. cook you Sunday Delight Sparrows. You can see this is my lovely piece of pork. I bought it from my butcher. So this is two pound weight of pork. Nice end of the bellies. There's not much bone here. You can have a belly with lots of bone as well. I call this dish as a Sunday Delight because Sunday is the only day most family gather together you can put your feet up and eat without a fork, a spoon and a knife. You just pick one piece up and chew it. And please don't tell me, oh, you don't like spare ribs, pork spare ribs. You can use lamb spare ribs, you can use beef spare ribs. I'm going to marinate this pork now. A bit of pepper. That's it. Half a teaspoon of pepper. That's nice. Salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. Lovely. Some garlic. Four cloves of garlic. Mince it up. And um, once you marinate it into the meat, it absorbs it. It's what you call it, Ben? It's penetrate. It penetrates it. 
a teaspoon of chilies. Some chili says it's hot, it's not hot. Some chili says it's not hot, it's really hot. That's it. You can have some honey. Oh, you must love me. We've been married so many years, we do have a good laugh. Two tablespoons of honey. What else? Tomato oh, sauce. Tomato sauce, fine. I have to put two tablespoons of tomato sauce. You wonder why I'm using tomato ketchup. We love tomato ketchup. We use tomato ketchup in certain dishes. We don't use puree. When we were young, that's what we were brought up to use it. We continue our drill of root. Some brown sugar. Wonderful. Two teaspoons of brown sugar. Lovely. And what else? I think the sweet sauce. Ketchup monies. Yes. Ketchup monies. Ketchup monies is a sweet version of soya sauce. Two tablespoons of ketchup monies. And my recipe is very simple with this. You marinate them all and try and make sure that every piece of the meat is coated with the sauce. And you marinate for two hours or more. You can marinate it overnight and leave it there for tomorrow before your friends arrive and you can cook it. And I'll tell you, it's such a delight. It's a real delight and it's a real treat because it's so saucy, it's so tasty. I can't tell you more. You have to try it. I'm going to parboil this ferret so that it's guaranteed well cooked. And you can hear it sizzling very, very well. I put all the sauce in it. Don't worry, you get very smoky. And put your fire low when it's, when it's boiling to make sure that the meat is well cooked. Later on, you can put the fire high. You leave it for 20 minutes, okay? Boil it for 20 minutes and then you put it on this griddle to just give it a quick heat. What do they say, Ben? I haven't cooked it earlier. I have not cooked it earlier. So everything is freshly cooked for you. I'm pleased I didn't give him a hard time because he can answer my question. Or else I say, what did I say? That's it. We shall wait and see. And now, this is hot as well. You can see this is beautiful. Yes. And don't throw the sauce away. We've got to make use of the sauce as well. You see? Catch the line. Can you catch the line? You can see I did put, not put any oil for this cooking. Everything is cooked by itself in natural flavour. The garlic will penetrate into the meat, the tomato sauce, the sugar, the honey. Let's face it, with all these good ingredients, you don't expect to give a disappointment dinner. It's about 10 minutes on the griddle, not more than that. If you don't have a griddle, if you have a grill, use the grill. You don't need to add any oil. If you use the grill, don't sing any other song that is too long. Concentrate and look on the grill. If it's brown, turn it over. Both sides brown, serve your papa. We're going to get this out. Put it side by side. Isn't that delicious? Lovely. That is my Sunday D 
like spirits. <laughs> You lost the words. Do you know this man is a glut? <laughs> Considering the insults, it tastes wonderful. <laughs> As you can see here, I have a beautiful piece of fillet shark. I'm not going to cook the whole piece. I'm going to cook 10 ounces out of this. This shark are beautiful and fresh. And you do not cut it too small. It's about an inch size. You can get shark from a good supermarket where they got a fish store or a nice fish monger. So it's worth it. You have to experience the taste shark. It's a firm meat and it's got a lovely, delicate taste. If you can't find shark in the market, do use halibut, monkfish, nice piece of hokey fish. Obviously, you realise that each fish has different flavour and taste different. And every fish has different texture. Now I cut my shark. I'm going to show you how am I going to cook it. That's it. I've got two tablespoons of oil here. Whoa! You can see how hot is it. Put a bit of ginger in it. And you can see the frying pan is still very hot. Shark, please, Ben, quick. Don't go to sleep now. Like a frying pan, hot and lovely. Shark got to cook it in a very hot pan. Look at that. Look at that. This is a wok, you can use a frying pan, you can use a pot, use whatever you have in the kitchen. If you have a wok, it's better still, yeah? Let's put some pepper in it. Thank you. That's it. Pepper goes very well with ginger. And a little bit of water first. Do you like this dish, Ben? I think it's very nice. It's very... It's got One a thing, is it very it's nice? very nice. It's got a very delicate taste. Oh, yes. Just put a little bit of water in. About half a cup first. When you overcook fish, it gets tough. Yeah, cook for 10 minutes. When you cook fish, it's nice to use fish sauce. Let's put in two tablespoons of fish sauce. And I put one tablespoon of soy sauce, a dash of white wine. I'm going to take the shark out now. My cornflour, one and a half teaspoon of cornflour mixed with a little bit of water. A bit more water is getting a bit thick. That's it. That's it. Add the juice of two limes and garnish with coriander and spring onion.
bedroom to go with my shark. Let's get it moving. Come on, Ben. Come on, let's do the rock and roll. Prawns, straight in. Don't sleep now, Ben, please, yeah? We have slept last night, well slept. That's it, done. <laughs> he's awake, he's awake. Let's give him a hard time. What else you got for me? Egg. Egg? Yes, we only need the egg white this time, not the egg yolk, okay? So we get rid of that. Pour this in. That's it. Come on, don't sleep now. What you got for me next? What about my spoon? Come on, darling, get on with it. Huh? He's sleeping again. His brain is in the seaside again. One. The hole is so small, it's getting a bit slow to get out of it. Never mind, be patient. You know that fish sauce are delicious sauce. I don't know what fish they have it in there, but I know they are good quality fish. They have some anchovies, a big fish, small fish. They mix them all with the salt and they ferment it and they li drip it literally like wine dropping. Keep grinding. That's it. A little bit more. That's it. And he forgot the cut. Let's get it. One teaspoon and a half. That's it. Two sprigs of spring onion. You go round for just a little bit more, that's it. Now we do and talk about the mushrooms. We soak for half an hour in boiling water and it becomes like that, soggy. All the liquid has to be out from the mushroom. Obviously my hand is not as big as some of you. But it takes a bit time, but this juice is good, you know. It's not supposed to throw it away. You're supposed to leave the juice there for your sauce. And when we were young again, I'm always saying that when, I, when I'm young, I'm very old, aren't I? And when we have rashes, my mother will boil this water and put some ginger and let us drink it. It does work. <laughs> Now I'm going to stuff my mushrooms. You don't want anything that stick on the top and it looks nicer, it looks more dainty. Now you can you see this, just put this in there, stuffed it here, one done. Please do choose the mushroom not too big. It doesn't look that nice. And it's so simple. It's lovely prawns. There you are, my stuffed mushroom, ready for steaming. Now I've got this beautiful bamboo steamer. Let's get it right. You know why I put this plate underneath? Because the juice can drop it underneath there. You can use it as a stock next time. Then this is keeping it hot. You can feel the hotness now. Good. You see, this is nice and hot. And you lay your mushroom in the middle first. And you go side by side with it. Prawns is going to be change into color to be pinkish. Okay, let the magic start boiling. And this is steamed within 10 to 15 minutes according to your fire. And I'm going to wash my hands and get ready for my sauce. Boom, 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 boom. Put some oil in, about a tablespoon the maximum. And, you, and put the ginger and garlic in. Two inches of ginger and two cloves of garlic. And then put some spring onion in, okay? 
and then mushroom sauce. You realize this is squeezed out of the mushroom earlier on. Cornflour. Where's my sugar? Oh, yes. oh found he it. found yes. it. Was my behind. darling. One teaspoon of sugar we put in. Can I have a little bit of fish sauce? Yes, just a tablespoon of fish sauce and a dash of wine. Yes, we're not keep throwing much of wine, but we have lovely wine here as well. And a bit of sesame oil. That's it. One teaspoon of sesame oil. That's it. All ready to be served. Come on, let it boiling now. My steamer is ready. Oh, look at the stuffed mushroom. Is my plate ready? Let's shuffle this up where the sauce is boiling. Look at the prawns, has gone pink and the spring onion have given a show. It's tip-top model, this is. This is Formula One cook, I'm telling you. Look at that, put that on. I am very sure my guests will be very pleased with me tonight. I'm going to give up ordinary bacon, eggs and mushrooms because these mushrooms are far nicer and they've got prawns on top. They're wonderful. I could eat it every night. It's lovely. Quite honestly, Nancy is a complete and utter nutter. Oh, Nancy, she's wonderful. She's a very capable woman. Thank you for watching my programme on Shark and Ribs. Let's say goodbye, Ben. Goodbye, Nabu. That's in Ghanaian.